The fourth and final season of Billy Bob Thornton's series, Goliath, takes on Big Pharma in a story that touches on a number of key issues in the news. To learn more, we sat down with four of the stars of the Amazon series, Nina Arianda, Tanya Raymond, Jenna Malone, and Brandon Scott. It's Bruce Miller, it's the Sioux City Journal. Nina, has your, your view of lawyers changed any after all these years? Sure, I'm much more hopeful in the legal process. <laughs> I mean, you know, they do some really rotten things. They do, they do very, very rotten things. So it's nice to be kind of on the good side of it. Uh, it's hopeful and I think what an example for those that are evil. How much acting is involved in law? Are they acting when they're up, you know, trying a case or dealing with that? Or is that not acting? I think it's showmanship. I don't know about acting, but I think that you are telling a story and you are trying to, in some way, influence people through your story. Whether that's acting, yeah, I think part of it is. But I think more than that, it's showmanship. You know, and this doesn't really seem like a series. It seems like a, a series of movies, if you will. Did it feel that way from your perspective too, or? It did, and, and gladly so, because it keeps everything very fresh and exciting. And it keeps you on your toes in a way. So why end it? It shouldn't end, right? Couldn't this go on forever? I think so. I think so. But I think it's a beautiful note that we leave it on. I think that why not leave when it's really good? Well, and you and Billy Bob work so well together. What is that? Why is that such such wonderful chemistry? I don't know. I think you either have it or you don't. And I feel very blessed that Billy and I became such good friends. And uh, I, I respect the heck out of him. Now, after this, are you going back to Broadway? God, I hope. I hope so. I really, I would like that very, very much. I'm so happy that everything's opening up. I'm so happy that everyone's getting their jobs back slowly but surely. And um, it's been sorely missed, the theater. Was that a goal when you were on Broadway that, you know, I should try, I should try California. I should do something in films. I should do something in television. Or how did that all I'm, square out? No, I honestly, I never thought that I'd leave the church of theater <laughs> I, I just, I didn't, I was a theater baby and um, I'm very happy uh, to be able to work in both. Um, they're two very different disciplines in a way. So it's been very exciting. Laura Benanti once said that when she first went out to do TV, she said she was so worried that she'd be so animated that she'd never even move her head. Did you find anything like you like, oh, I don't dare do anything like that? Oh, certainly. I mean. In one way, what is lived in, I mean, the truth has no size in a sense. So that's something that you could take from one medium to another. But, oh, for sure. I have I remember one of my first movies, the director came up to me and made it very clear that the screen is going to be very big. So make my emotions very small. And that stuck with me for sure. And, you know, you're so good at crossing the whole thing. What is that? What is that ability to do something very big on stage and then something very small on screen is well, it thank you for saying that um i don't know i really love it i don't really know if there is an answer technically to that it's it's a it's like pacino said adapt so you adapt so yeah. when you were when you were during the covid period and i'm assuming you were filming this during covid right yes did you freak that everything was going to go away I did a little bit. Yeah, there was there's a lot of fear from many, many different angles um, during that whole experience with the pandemic. Uh, I, of course, I was afraid. I was afraid of a lot of things. It was so uncertain. It continues to be uncertain. Yeah, well, keep on working. I need you. You're my my port in a storm during all this time. So thanks so much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you.